What's going on guys, my name is Jade and welcome to another computer graphics tutorial on rasterization. Now in the last tutorial we learned how the midpoint line algorithm functions in order to draw a line. Today we will be actually applying the midpoint line algorithm to draw a line by glowing the circles. But before we do that, I really should mention something here that I neglected to tell you in the last tutorial. That is Suppose this is our pixel XP, YP, the current pixel, okay? Now, whenever we choose the pixel E, notice that our X value increments by 1 and our Y value remains the same. Whereas when we choose the pixel any, our X value increments by 1 and our Y value also increments by 1. See? Now that's the little information that you'll need in order to determine the points, okay? So, now we got that out of the way. Let's get back to our tutorial. Let me just remove all this extra information. Okay. So, suppose this is our line. And the only information at our disposal are the two endpoints, say, 4, 5, and 7, 7. So we have x0, y0 as 4, 5, and the other endpoint xn, yn as 7, 7. As you may recall, we need to calculate the value of d, where d star was given by twice dy minus dx. If we chose the pixel e, we incremented d by twice dy and if we chose the pixel any we incremented d by twice dy minus dx okay so these are the equations that we need to know the value we can of course find out dy and dx from these two endpoints dy would be yn minus y0, which is 7 minus 5 equals 2, and dx would be xn minus x0 equals 7 minus 4, which is 3. So, d star would be 2 into 2 minus 3, which gives us 4 minus 3 equals 1, twice dy would be 2 into 2 equals 4, and 2 into dy minus dx would be 2 into 2 minus 3 equals minus 2. Okay? Now, let us form a sort of grid here, sort of chart-like, where we have the value of d. We compare it with 0, take our decision, and then we have the values of x and y. Okay? Now, of course, the initial x and y values are 4 and 5. So, we have our initial d to be 1. Okay? So, obviously, in this case, d is greater than 0. So, we choose the pixel n e this is e and this is n e and of course our initial pixels i mean our initial pixel is always glowed so now we choose the pixel n e and glow the pixel n okay so our x coordinate would be incremented by 1 which would become 4 plus 1 equals 5 and since we chose any our y coordinate would also be increased by 1, which is 5 plus 1 equals 6. In the next iteration, since we chose any, we have to increment our d value by minus 2. So it's 1 minus 2 equals minus 1. Now minus 1 is less than 0, so we choose pixel e. Okay? That would be this pixel, since after we chose any, our pixel would shift to e and any right here. And that would mean our x pixel would increment by 1 once again, that makes 5 plus 1 equals 6, and the y pixel would remain the same since we chose e, and e has no effect on y. 
our next pixels would be here and here. Okay? So since we chose E, we increment our D value by adding it to twice dy, which is 4. This gives us 3. 3 is greater than 0. We choose any. In choice of our any, our x value would become incremented by 1 equals 7. And our y value would be incremented by 1 equals 7. And we have the pixel 7, 7. Thus, we reached our endpoint, 7, 7. And this is where we stop. Okay? And that's about it. That's how we draw a line by glowing those pixels, of which line we only know the endpoint by applying the midpoint line algorithm. And that's all the midpoint line algorithm does. So, that's it, guys. I only wanted to give you a short demonstration of how the midpoint line algorithm works in order to draw a line. And in the next tutorial, we'll be going into something interesting and leaving the line drawing behind. So stay with me till then, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya!